Welcome to Norigo TV. I'm your host, Cyprian Jusson. Now, today I'm with Serge Nukwe, the founder of uh, Nollywood Week Film Festival. Serge, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, I've talked to you for almost five years about this festival, and um, uh, today we're going to talk about the achievements of the festival. So, when you look around, five years and going now this is the sixth year how do you feel about what you created from a shoestring budget <laughs> there was no money you see but but why he did it so tell us yeah no, I, I feel very proud that uh, we were able to do five editions now yeah. we are doing our sixth um, it was it's, it's nothing that can be taken for granted because we really started from a from just uh, hope ideas yeah. ambition uh, you know when we were Full of ideas, full of dynamism, but but we didn't have anything to really make it happen. We didn't even have a venue. Yeah. At first. So so now we've been uh, we've been here in the same venue for the past five years, and uh, um, it's good because if the people didn't turn out and if they didn't turn up and didn't come to the festival, then we would not be here today. So it shows that you have been successful, and we are very proud of that uh, that interest. Yeah. That, that, that exists for Nollywood in general and the, the interest that we have been able to generate as well for people who didn't know about it. Now, there was a time I sent you an email um, asking you the number of uh, uh, people that you have seen in this festival. You gave us 10,000 people in five years. Has it increased? Is, is it increasing this this we, year? We, it's, it's too early. To, it's too early to tell. But uh, you know, we had a full house on opening night. Yeah, I, I can uh, see that. It's, 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 been, it's been great so far. So I think I think it's, uh, it's showing again that yes, we are. Um, we, are, we are going in the, in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, when I say 10,000, it's obviously cumulative. It's cumulative yeah. over the, the years. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's, it's great. And I think uh, hopefully it shows to the professionals out there, distributors or exhibitors, everything, that you know there is an audience for yeah. this cinema in France. In France, yeah. It's not something that is uh, a fantasy. Yeah, it's, not, uh, yeah. you know, it's real. It's, you know, it's, it's, people are here, they come, they want to see the film, they want to come back. They want to see more movies. They want to, you know, they want, they want to interact. With yeah, the audience, yeah, with them, yeah, yeah. The networking. So this is something that that needs to happen more and more and no. more. You know, it's, uh, it's real. Now talking about what is real, people come here every year to watch quality movies. Now uh, the question is, uh, the movies you program tell interesting and powerful stories which engage audience. So what's you tell us your magic or the criteria. How do you choose these movies? Like we watched Wedding Party 2, people were laughing, and you can see the, 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 the movie was packed with fun, comedy, languages, broken, evil, uh, Queen's English. But how do you choose these movies? Um, it's, you know, I think that's the essence of the festival. We, you know, from the beginning, what was interesting for us was to bring in France, uh, um, to change the perception of Nigeria and yeah. Africa as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> we want to show things that are not seen here, or not, you know, not so accessible. Yeah. But things that are very uh, good quality, things that, 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 that bring people, um, that make people proud, yeah. basically. Things that are uplifting, things that are funny, things that are, you know, we, we don't want people to come to the festival and think, okay, because it's a festival of Nigerian film, or because it's a festival of African culture, we should we should downgrade our yes, expectations. Yes. No, we want them to be wild. You know, we want them to, to have a lot of uh, fun moments. A lot of you know, if it's drama, they want to cry. We want them to be engaged. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the point. You know, it's really they, they they come to watch a movie here just like they will come to watch a Hollywood movie. Yes, there shouldn't yes, be yes, any, uh, oh, this is African film. So let me let me just uh, no. The idea is to really bring it to uh, to that level. And so the selection process we are very, very, very strict. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the film that we see, yeah. it's, uh, it takes us forever. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times, it really takes a long time for us to agree yes, amongst yes, ourselves. Yes, yes. We have a committee of about five to six people, yeah. depending on the years. Uh, but really, it's not easy. It's not easy. We receive a lot of films. We have to get through them, and uh, we have uh, some criteria that are clear. But we have to, um, you know, judge those films and then. Uh, Argue with each other, so yeah, can, uh, yeah, see. Yeah. But what we keep in mind is really that quality and the, the expectations of the audience. The audience that comes here is expecting international standards; they're not expecting okay. anything less. So now, talking about the films, um, after the festival, what happens to the films? 
what we would like to see happen is that yes. the, the, the films will all now come out and be in the regular networks, you know, the ones that we know here, the yeah. UGC, yeah. MKD, all yeah. of those um, uh, cinema networks. But it hasn't happened so far. Um, it hasn't happened so far. What has happened, though, is that the films go to other festivals. Okay. Um, in France and beyond France. Yeah. Uh, like in Switzerland, Belgium, you know, Francophone countries, Canada, because we have kind of created a network of festivals that are interested in showing the films that we see here. Yeah. Uh, but we have to go to the next level. Yes. And the next level is, yes, the films have to be in the, in the cinemas after the festival and they have to stay there for several weeks, which is the next step. Hopefully it's going to happen. Uh, we are talking with people, partners, and everything to make these things happen. So, so when are we hoping to see that? The Winning Party 2, for instance, is already distributed by a company called I Find Pictures. Yes, with so, Gomo is that? Yeah, so there's already something going on. Yeah. Uh, dinner from last year is also yeah. uh, released. So, so yeah, so there, yeah. there are things happening. Is, uh, is the Nollywood Week Festival involved in this distribution, or uh, you just... No, not, not yet, but we are... We are in a way, we are naturally involved because it's yeah. uh, you know the films were discovered here. Yeah, so okay, are, very we are, good. We are part of that process now. We are we are hoping to maybe consolidate the, the relationship with the yeah, icon pictures. Yeah, that's Okay. And, and do, yeah. Now the biggest question people would like to ask you, and I'm just representing them here to ask that question is it's not a hard question, right? It's why did you change the date of the festival? From June to May. To May. You see, uh, most, many people must have asked you the, the, the yeah, same question. No, June, uh, June, it was better because the weather is better in June. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but it's summer. You see, the thing is, uh, we, there, there, are, there are so many parameters. Like, for instance, the students okay. are usually already out uh, in June, they're already on break. Okay. Uh, university students. Okay. Uh, that's, that, it was more difficult to get that. That crowd, that okay. audience. Okay. Um, and then on the personal level as well, uh, uh, because of my own travels and everything, I actually had to make it to make some adjustments. Okay. And so okay. May became more convenient. Okay. Um, yeah, it's something. I mean, we are hoping to not have to change so much and stay in that in that in that okay. region because it's important for the audience to to uh, remember and to know when the festival happens. And they don't have to think twice about it. You know, they don't have to even look at the calendar. They know that okay, this is the week where Hollywood movie is going to happen. That's the kind of uh, stability that we are hoping to get. But, um, yeah. Okay, so, talking about schools and universities, uh, how, um, uh, has it ever crossed your mind that you can bring Nollywood Week to their campuses and their uh, yes, yes. Look, it's really, uh, we want to bring Nollywood everywhere. Yeah. We want to bring Nollywood everywhere. So schools is definitely uh, yeah. one of these areas. Now it's just a matter of time, a matter of, uh, you know, getting the right organization to make this happen. But otherwise, yes, we are obviously interested. Yes. I think the students uh, is, is, is a very important population for us because they, they, they are curious. Yes, yes. They want to know more about the world. That's correct. They have less stereotypes than, yes, than, yes. than the other ones. So yes. this is clearly our object. So five years um, have gone, and then we're going to talk about this year, the sixth year. So the sixth year, the man Sech Nukwe has arrived. The six six steps. It's not easy, right? It's not. It's not, it's not easy. It's never and, easy. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Go on. No, it's never easy. Even even with time, you know, you could think that by the fifth year or the sixth year, it gets better. But and in some ways, it does. But at the same time, it, it, it remains a challenge. And, uh, it's a permanent challenge. Yeah, yeah, it's right. To raise the funds, to raise awareness, mm -hmm. because you still have to go back. You know, in a city like Paris, yeah, you have to think about the amount of events that are happening constantly yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you are against those events. You know, you're yeah. in competition. So how do you make your events? Uh, shine and uh, you know be visible yeah. among all these things. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a constant challenge. Yeah. 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 But we we have that faith that uh, we are serving a purpose. We are we are doing something that people want, and so we continue. But it, it's, it's not easy. So serving a purpose, can I? If I say you're serving the global um, community, what do you say? I think yes, we are, we are serving the global community in the sense that. Um, for instance, I think I may have shared the story with you before, I'm not sure, but when we started the festival in 2013, yes. everybody thought we were crazy, and, yeah, yeah, and, um, yeah, that's and they were like, if you want to do that, okay, let, let's admit that this is a good idea. Yes, right? yes. At least do that in London, don't do that in, in France, yeah, do that in yeah. London, because that's where you're going to have the Nigerian diaspora. Yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, great, that makes sense, but the thing is, we're not just talking to the Nigerian diaspora. Yes. This festival is not for the Nigerian diaspora, that's as, as a matter of fact. 
the Nigerian diaspora has more access yeah. to those films than everybody else, and we want everybody to have access to those films. That's correct. So, so I think people were saying that we're missing the point of, yeah. uh, of, uh, of yeah. what we do, mm -hmm. and uh, what we do is really like at some point we want Nigerian films and Nollywood to become mainstream, to become part of this global conversation, mm -hmm. because at, at this yeah. point it is still a bit marginalized, yes, even though yes, yes. from the 2013 until now there's been an enormous change. Yeah. Um, the, some of the Nigerian films that came to this festival were selected in Toronto, for yes, instance, which is yes, a big yes, festival. Yes, yes, so yes. things have happened, things are, you know, things are, are, are going on, and uh, there is change, and it's a change for the better. But there's still a long way to go for the right kind of recognition uh, that the money deserves. The one I like is change, you see, and uh, this change is leading us to what we can call the Nollywood generation. Yeah, yeah because uh, Nollywood has become a brand and you are one of um, the actors promoting this brand that is now representing Africa. So, um, not to flatter you, do you see yourself as a star? Because you you have been bringing stars to this place, you know. Before this interview, I told you I, I can see see them uh, here. I interviewed a good number of stars. You brought them here: um, Kule Afolayo, Kelani, Rita Domini, and a good number of them. They came to this place. So how do you feel uh, after you've seen your achievement? Because this interview is all about your achievement, and uh, we're so glad to be part of it. So yeah. tell us. No, oh, thank you. I mean, you know, it's um, it's really something that we, we we are again we are proud of because um, bringing the Rita Dominics and the Omoni Oboli yes. the, or the Kulia Falayon here was never uh, an easy task. Also, they were also skeptical sometimes. Yeah, know? yeah. Because again, it's the whole thing of coming to Paris where they don't even speak English. It's like, what is, uh, does that doesn't make sense. Yes. Uh, but I think over time it really. You know, like we started to gain their respect and their trust, and, yeah. uh, and, uh, and we were able to bring them here. And, to, and, and they've been really talking about this festival. When they go back, they've been spreading the good word so that right. others want to come. Right. And this is, has been this has been a wonderful journey. And, uh, and I also have a lot of memories. Um, yeah, go ahead. That are very, you know, it's very the uh, anecdotes. Yeah, emotional memories. But yes, you know, yes, go ahead, please. No, what, what, what I want is uh, is. Uh, you know, I, th I think we, we have made history in a yeah, way, you know, yeah, and, yeah. And, and I want to continue that yeah. uh, because I think there's so much more that can happen. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So we, there are still so many things that we haven't done yet uh, that we are hoping to get. Um, and this festival will grow. I believe this festival will grow. Yeah, it, it has been. Uh, sure. We are up against a lot of challenges, financial challenges, and other kind of challenges. But we we are still here. And um, yes, yeah, the sense of purpose. I, I, I feel it every day. I think that's the that's the that's the natural fuel. Otherwise, yeah. uh, it would be difficult to carry this, uh, this 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 thing going. So, last words. I would like to take much of your time. You know, as an organizer, and also you have, you have your eyes everywhere like a hawk. <laughs> so, uh, what do you tell the um, fans of Nollywood that come here every year and those that even don't come? So, some people don't know the festival, so what are you going to tell them? And that's the message for next year because I'm sure it's going to be bigger next year. So, what's your message? I think uh, we we have become the reference point. If you want to see Nollywood movies, quality films, uh, this is where you have to come. Nollywood Week in Paris is really where we have to come. We are we are always uh, you know ready to show the best of the best, and also we are also going ahead of time now because we are showing world premieres, which was not necessarily the case before. Before we were showing movies that, that had come out in Nigeria, but now we are showing premieres. We are showing. Uh, we are bringing uh, you know stars and everything. So this is something that is really uh, has become a reference for Hollywood in general, and we are we are we are really proud of that. And I would say for you know for any young uh, filmmakers or producers, or anybody who wants to do something like this, the, the main thing I can say is to not give up. You can never yeah. give up because many times it would look impossible. And to be honest, among these six editions that we are doing now. There's been several where we felt like, okay, we cannot do it this year. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, yeah. We just can't. We're not going to be able to. Yeah. And it was especially my partner was telling me, okay, we have to do something. We have to announce that we're not coming back this year. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, no. <laughs> like you know, <laughs> inside I would not agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I was like, no, 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 we will find a way to come back. And we have found ways, but it's uh, 
it's, it's, it's a constant battle. Yeah, it's a constant battle. Yeah. You have to be ready to fight. It's, it's really not easy. But you know, this is, I think, if you ask any actor in Hollywood, if you ask any director, they will tell you the same thing. Yeah, the same uh, story. Yeah. We, we really share this thing with Hollywood that not only we are about Hollywood, but I think we are, yeah. <laughs> we are a Hollywood festival in the sense that even our funding, you know, it's, it's all about hustle, it's all about yes, uh, yes, yes. energy and uh, never giving up and, uh, you know, constantly uh, uh, trying, constantly yeah. trying. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. that's what we do. And, then, and we know we are not perfect, we know the festival is not perfect, we know there are things that we can improve, and we will. Yeah. We will improve on those things. It's just, you know, one thing, one thing at a time, one step at a time, we are, we are, we are there, and, uh, and the idea is to always improve and get better. Great, you're talking to Noligo TV, which yes. uh, I, I created with my team. So, we are in Paris also, so give us a shout, shout for Noligo TV, it's a platform we're trying, and, and just to let you know, because um, we shoot movies, yeah, which yeah. I've already told you, and then maybe if we are good, you might select us for your festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 sounds great. Well, I think, I mean, congratulations, first of all, on, yeah. doing, on doing this, I mean, you've been, you've been a, you've been a, uh, a partner, first of all, from the beginning, yeah. and you've been also uh, a, a pioneer yeah. in terms of the awareness about Hollywood in France. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And so, congratulations on keep, keeping this this fight, you know. And now, Nollywood TV has a new initiative. Congratulations again on that one. Um, this is a shout out to Nollywood TV. I think you know you're in the right place. You don't go anywhere. <laughs> this is where the news on Nollywood happened, so you don't want to go anywhere. And. This is Cyprian Johnson. I mean, I really, I really appreciate you. Thank you for coming every year to this yeah. festival. Yeah. You've been there before we even started. Yeah, yeah. And so you know, you know what we've been through, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah.